Hey there guys, welcome to FPS Tutorial Part 6. I know it has been a while since I've done one of these videos, but it was all due to my mic not functioning the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to be back with some more tutorials. And also, I haven't been alone all day, so um, I don't know if that sentence makes any sense at all. It has been busy around here too, so here I am doing one of the uh, first person shooter tutorials again. If you watched the first part of the video, you might be wondering, how do I make something amazing like that? It's better than Battlefield 4, it might be the next Battlefield. Well, don't worry, I'm going to be showing you how to do it right now, or you can just simply download the uh, the entire file that's in the description below. So, here are the sprites, they are not that interesting, like I'm always saying, but really, I'm going to skip them for now. If you want to take a good look at these, you can just download them, of course. A few sounds I have, but I'm not going to be using the uh, default sound options that GameMaker offers, I'm going to be using the audio create from stream uh, thing audio create stream instead because this is <laughs> as you may have uh, noticed in the beginning of the video this is about a huge battlefield between uh, two two factions you could say that my mouse cursor is back fonts here we are all right that was that those were the least important things and as usual let's get to the um the objects then these are very uh, how do you say that these are very extended extensive you could say that all right so GMFT in it again I've heard that this uh, caused a lot of problems with um, I don't know what it was different um, operating systems maybe it's Windows 10 I don't have Windows 10 as you can see I have Windows 7 because I like it more and I like to play some older games that are not compatible anymore with Windows 10 so here is DVD star, DVD set hidden, Z by default is 0, same goes for pitch, and Z2 is 180, which means that our, um, our character is about 1 meter 80 or something like that. I don't know what it is in, uh, in feet or something like that, sorry. So HP is 100, FOV is 90, you can always change this, this is, uh, you can change this in real time too, in some kind of options menu to keep the total biscuit happy. Just create him an FOV slider and you have his attention. So drawing a grass floor, this is the entire map that I'm drawing. Of course, it's really, uh, it's just a floor. There's no terrain in here, but you know how to do terrain if you watch some of my previous tutorials. This shouldn't be much different. And the sky, of course. Um, the gun models. Just loading in a few gun models, and here's what spawns trees around the entire map. And uh, other trees, these are, I think, pine trees, and these are normal trees, oak trees, or something like that. Um, alright, it creates some kind of helper thing, which I'm going to be explaining later. I don't know why I called it helper, it doesn't make any sense. So, thank you for the feedback, by the way. You guys have given me very, some very nice feedback on my tutorials. For example, uh, the clamp thing that I forgot to add right here. I'm going to be doing it right now. Hold on. This works great. I don't know why I haven't used it before. I'm going to be using it from now on. It's it's awesome. It, it does what I wanted it to do. So, controls. These are very... Uh, no, wait. Never mind. I thought this was going to be a lot, but it, it really isn't. It isn't that much. Some very basic controls. The game was originally supposed to be running at 60 FPS, but it didn't. That's because I really need a new computer. I might be starting a Kickstarter for that because I wanted to finish one of my own games, but I, I just can't do it on this PC. That's why I'm going to be needing some crowdfunding. If you want to support me, thank you very much, but this is uh, not the time for that. This is a tutorial. So global driving, shoot minus one. I'm not very good at explaining these things. I'm very sorry. If you want to take a good look at these, you can always download them. Links in the description below. 
Link is in the description below. It will take you to my uh, Dropbox account. You can download the file for free. So these are the different guns. This is for the machine gun that you own. This is for the sniper rifle. And this is for the pistol that you get when you're, uh, for example, down or when you switched to the pistol. Um, HP colors is basically what color your health bar gets when you get a certain amount of health. Don't leave the room, just don't go out of the map, but I um, I had to take that one out because the map isn't that large, so it was kind of a shame that there was uh, there were these invisible walls. I really didn't like it, so I removed them again. This is when you're driving the Humvee, which we're going to take... This, which is what we're going to be taking a look at later. And when you get shot, you go down, which is what you don't want. So, yeah, here it is, the entire thing. When you press X, this was for debugging, I'm going to remove them right now. Now it's up, it's in zo zooming in, done this way, and zooming out this way. You draw the projection like this. There's a lot of things. Where did it go? There you are. Draw models. And draw some gun models as well. Alright. So lighting. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. It's just some directional lights. And that's all. And up to trees. As you may notice, there isn't anything done here besides uh, the coordinates of the trees. <clears throat> now why is that? An awesome viewer of mine named Dagaruski. I'm very sorry that I didn't reply to your comment on my video. I can't comment on your reaction for some reason. I can't... How do you say that? I can't comment on your comment for some reason. It doesn't allow me to. So I'm going to be saying it right here. Thank you so much, man. This this works great. It's just looping through all the uh, different objects. It's drawing it at their position. And it does run a lot faster with that on. It's definitely on my PC. So thank you very much for that, that's awesome. So object friendly, in its soldier. This is a lot of stuff. It's when it turns its head, it's something it does. It's a little animation just to make them look a little bit more vivid. Uh, if it gets hit by a car, if it dies. I'm going to be enlarging these a little bit. Magnifying them a bit. And the step events, which is a lot of stuff. I want to get hits by bullets. There's friendly fire in the game, as you may have noticed in the uh, little video at the beginning. And if you didn't, there is friendly fire. And that's why object friendly and object enemy have both the same scripts and almost the same looks. Which is really funny because you can shoot them and they shoot you and stuff like that. They shoot each other. Oh, what happened? Alright. That's when I get hit by the Humvee, hop in the car with the main character, which is when. You honk at them with the H button, which when how you honk the car, it makes a little horning sound. And then they will run at your car. It's pretty fun. They'll hop in the car and they'll shoot from the car. It's really cool. It's a little detail that I really like. So that was that. I'm sorry that I'm really not good at explaining these things. I just make the tutorial, so I have to find someone else to explain it for me. Well, the, the enemy is basically the same thing, it just reacts differently to friendly fire and stuff like that. Object tent, which is what spawns the uh, the friendlies and the enemies. This is what spawns friendlies and this is what spawns uh, uh, enemies. Object, what are you? Front. Uh, this is how you get, uh, how you hit people with a car. Because I don't want, well, I don't want it that uh, when people run into the car themselves, when the car is stationary, and they get hit by the car. It's not the case in this game. They'll just run through the game, run through the car for some reason. Because I don't have any collision codes or it, or anything. So alright, let's keep on going. An allied bullet, fire at will. Yeah, a lot of stuff here. If you're wondering what Aku is, Aku is basically the accuracy of the friendly in this case. And the enemies have the um, accus for their enemy parent thing. These are all the same things. This one does a bit more damage and is a bit faster, that's all. I'm explaining this one only. This is the basic bullet thing that I've used in almost all my tutorials so far. 
No, I think I used it in all my tutorials. Z plus 10, Dectorate, Pitch, stuff like that. It's just a lot of mathematics. I was taught this by Banthe Studios. You probably watched them back in the day. Well, I'm assuming that, of course. Awkward silence there. Image X skill 32,000. I really don't know what else to say. This is it. At least I think that is it. If there's something unclear, please tell me all about it. And I'll be um, happily answering all your questions in the comments below, if I can comment on them, of course. So that was that. Well, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I know it has been a while. It's due to computer problems, due to mi microphone problems, and other stuff like that, business-related stuff. So once again, thank you very much for watching, and be on the lookout for the next one. And see you guys later.